or 1998 Ford F-150. If you do not have a scan tool to read off some of your codes and you have the digital odometer, which you will on the 1998, I don't know if they have the digital odometer before 98, I think they do. Anyhow, what you do is you hold down the reset button for your, for your odometer over here. Then you continue to hold it down and you turn on the ignition to auxiliary to where there's power. You continuously hold the button down, keep holding it down until you see test, and then I can let go. Right now, just tested all the gauges to make sure all the gauges were working. Sorry about the glare. And then you continue to push the reset button here. Here we go, and then next it would test. Uh, you push it down you got bulbs all the light bulbs came on to make sure none of them were out the low fuel uh, service check engine all of them came on you continue to push the button here it goes to there's some more normal codes that are automatically displaying themselves doesn't necessarily mean you have a trouble code going on here we go EEO2 is just a normal code DT Becca TT none. That's for drive train uh, control. I believe if you have any trouble codes that they would pop up underneath there, instead of saying none, you'd have a number of codes that, that read out. And then you can either look those up in your Ford book, or you can actually even look them up online under Ford trouble codes. You just type in whatever they are online, and it will tell you what they mean. You continue to scroll through here. Also, when it says engine, you can actually when I start up the truck, I'll start it all the way up when I'm holding the reset button down. And then once I get to engine here, you can drive the truck with the digital odometer. Uh, I mean, speed, mile per hour, or odometer. So if I was to start the truck completely holding down this button, and then when I drove off, my mile per hour, I wouldn't have to look at the, the needle anymore. It would be digital down here. So I'll have a digital speedometer. Same thing with your tachometer as well. There's your tachometer there. If I left it in that position, instead of watching the needle here for the RPMs, it would automatically show up as digital down here under tack. And there's the fuel. It tells how much fuel is in the truck. The oil. The battery. And like I said, all these other codes are just standard. If you pull up any trouble codes, first of all, you would have your check engine light on and you would know that. Of course, unless one of your bulbs out, that's another good reason to run the test is to make sure all your bulbs are working, including your your uh, service engine light, etc. And now continue to scroll through. I don't see any trouble codes here whatsoever. Oh, there it goes again. It just tested the gauges, all the gauges. So once again, that's for your '98 Ford F-150 to be able to read trouble codes that you may have popping up. If you do not have a scan tool, this would be really helpful.